this is this is for the British Heart Fund. This isn't a dating website, is it? <laughs> Um, I don't know, loud, noisy, rude, funny, cheeky, semi-drunk. <laughs> there are two reasons why I'm uh, involved in this. I mean, first of all, obviously for any comedian, you know, if you get sent an email with um, uh, Victoria Wood would like at the top of it, you know, you don't even read the rest, you just go, yes. Um, and also, so that you know, there was the privilege of being involved in something that Victoria Wood was, because she's such a you know iconic comedian. Um, and also, I have female heart disease in my family, so you know that was that is something that I was going to say close to my heart then, but um, in in many ways that's truer than it sounds. <laughs> No, I just do all the normal things, try not to eat too close to the show, try and make sure I've gone to the loo, although that hasn't always been successful, and um, just put my costume and makeup on, run my lines frantically, and then I'm on, yeah. There was one that I will always remember, just because it was my first year doing my own show in Edinburgh a few years ago, and it was before I'd done any telly, before anything. I'd just sold my car and put on a show, my one-woman show, in a 50-seat theatre, which most of the time was filled with about six people. And uh, one night, my only sell-out night of the whole of Edinburgh, I had all 50 seats taken, and I just didn't understand why. Um, and when I got uh, on stage and I saw the audience, it was all, um, uh, I later found out, a block booking from a very conservative um, golf club um, who had all decided to come together. Um, and um, I think they had booked it because in my show blurb I had mentioned Judy Dench. Um, what I hadn't said was that the sketch of Judy Dench in my show was a fart off between Judy Dench and Maggie Smith. And um, basically, it was the only show of the run which was performed to absolute pin drop silence for a whole hour. My dog just generally makes me laugh. She does a celebration uh, dance after she does a poo in the morning. And uh, that always makes me laugh. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'll adopt it myself. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not, you don't mean, have I literally had my heart broken? We're not, you're not taking the, this British Heart Foundation questions that far. Um, yes, I've had my heart broken. You can't be a proper comedian unless you've had your heart broken. Um, well, my heart will go on. It's a big part of my life. Yes. My, an ex-boyfriend of mine and I used to book out private karaoke rooms for two. Uh, mainly because we wanted to take it in turns to sing My Heart Will Go On between drinking neat shots of vodka. So yeah, that was that's a good way to spend an evening. <laughs>